Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this Sunday mountain weather update. All right, let's go to radar first and take a look across the west. Couple of things to point out. You've got a departing storm system over Colorado, Wyoming, Montana. You can see the blue, the snow there. That's going to be moving to the east. Next storm system in line is already hitting central and northern California with a nice shot of rain and snow. Snow for Shasta, Lassen, all the way down to Tahoe, and a little bit for Mammoth as well. That storm system will then move into the interior. This is all part of a new pattern that is going to be more active for a lot of the Intermountain West. So that'll move directly into Nevada, Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, Colorado, Arizona, uh, New Mexico, especially down the road. It looks like the, the storm system behind this will even take a more southern track and affect a lot more of Arizona and New Mexico. Okay, here's what's left over in Colorado, and you can see the spin coming through. Got a nice shot of rain for the Denver metro area. It looks like there's some snow out over the eastern plains. Mountains picked up some light accumulations in Colorado, anywhere from like one to four inches. Up in the northeast, as expected, a big time mix. Lots of ice, lots of rain, and snow at the very highest of elevations of Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, and New York. And this is the way it's going to be into tomorrow as well. Um, just this is what happens in the springtime, springtime warmth. Okay, here's the water vapor across the west and the mid level. So, oranges and reds are going to be your dry air. The moisture is in the whites and the blues. And there's our area of low pressure hitting California. There's the departing area of low pressure from Wyoming and Colorado. And then you've got another big storm system behind that. And that will also play into the forecast. And again, that storm will probably go a little bit further to the south and affect more of the southern tier as a big trough. Um, okay, let's go to my bullet points here, and it kind of reiterates what we just talked about. Active pattern for about the next eight days. There's at least two storm systems, maybe two and a half to three, but certainly two. And then, of course, the spring freezing levels are becoming an issue. In between these storm systems, the temperatures really warm up. Um, and that's what happens. So we're gradually taking that freezing line or that rain-snow line and moving it progressively to higher elevations. And certainly that's the case as you slide through April. We start to melt snow from the bottom up. Um, so all of that will be happening at the same time. Okay, here's my snow timeline. Best odds of snow. For Big Sky, the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Interior, BC, the Pacific Northwest, Tahoe, and the Northeast. So in, in the Wasatch, you've got some light, potentially light snow today. Um, and then heavier snow coming in with the next storm system. Afternoon, evening, 331 into 41. And then light to moderate accumulations, 424344. In Colorado, you've got some light snow, potentially, this afternoon. And then heavy on 41, light 4243, and then moderate 444546. Through the northeast, big mix into tomorrow. Rain 4243, and then rain 46. So unfortunately, we're just getting into that pattern now where it's just it's it's almost too warm at times um okay let's talk about the jet stream forecast here so these are jet level winds winds up at about 30,000 feet steering winds essentially and what i'm looking for the brighter colors but also the dips in the jet the little uh, kinks so a couple things you can see the storm system departing colorado wyoming moving out into the plains it will start this early today on sunday next storm system already moving into the west coast all right, here's early on Monday, powerful jet hitting California, escorting all that moisture in. Here's early Tuesday, notice the trough start, to, or in other words, the dip, the bowl in the, the jet starting to carve itself out with the next storm. That storm comes in, let me go into early Wednesday, look how far south it starts to dig. All the way down into parts of uh, Arizona, southern Utah, four corners, and it's starting to load up. Uh, this is early Thursday, another storm system, look at the how, how far south that digs into California. And then that goes way far to the south. Here's early Friday. And then that finally comes through. There's early Saturday. And then it cruises through through Sunday. And then it moves out into the plains. But that is a lot of activity to move through in the next eight days. Okay, here's a snow accumulation over time. So remember on this, your light blues are going to be your lightest accumulations of under three inches. Greens are three to six, yellows six plus, reds 10 plus. Got your storm coming through Wyoming, Colorado, and then it exits out into the plains. And of course, you got a storm hitting California. All right, here we are early on Monday. 
Now look what happens. This is late Monday into early Tuesday. All that heavy snow hits the Wasatch, hits the Hyuenas, hits the Tetons, hits Montana, hits Idaho, hits Colorado. There's early Tuesday morning. There's midday Tuesday. And then it slides through. Becomes a storm for the northern plains. Where we could see some heavy snow up there in the Dakotas. Minnesota. Okay, there's midday Wednesday. Another storm coming through the southern tier. This is early, late Wednesday, early Thursday. Look at the four corners. And then that moves into Colorado. And away. Another storm behind it drops through the four corners again. This is early Friday. Remember the jet stream. Big dip in the jet all the way down to the four corners. That's where all the action is going to sit. There's uh, early Saturday. Storm moving through a lot of New Mexico and southern Colorado with heavy snow. And then that moves out into the eastern plains of Colorado. And then that fades. There's early Monday. A lot of action. Okay, here's my forecast. All the way through the 6th of April, uh, 10 to 20 inches. Might as well call it 1 to 2 feet, I guess, in the, in the Wasatch. Uh, about 10 up there in the Tetons. 10 for Big Sky, Bridger Bowl. A lot of 6 to 8s up through um, Whitefish, Discovery. Uh, lots of 6s up Interior, B.C., 6 to 8 through Banff, Marmot, Sunshine. Um, 5 to 14 for the Pacific Northwest, 1 to 2 feet for California. In Colorado, it's pretty widespread. Once we get through the 6th, I mean, all the zones have anywhere from 8 to 16 inches of accumulation. Central, north, and south. Remember that one storm that comes through New Mexico and southern Colorado looks heavy. And that delivers about a foot to Taos and up to 16 over Wolf Creek. All right, let's go up to the northeast. The problem is the warm temp. The warm temps, the problem uh, being mix, rain, cutting down on accumulation. So I'm only expecting light accumulations here at the very highest of elevations. Two, three, four inches of accumulation. Maybe six over Mount Washington. Okay, let's go back to the western forecast. We'll end right here, guys. And again, we still have an active pattern ahead of us all the way into the first week of April. Um, the only issue will be some warmer temperatures, but the, it's unavoidable this time of the year. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care and have a great day.